What's happening, everybody? It's Chris with Lone Wolf DIY. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. I love your guys' support and I love seeing you here. Today, what I'm doing is I'm gonna get started on my parents' ubiquity network build by getting started with our design center. And since I'm just sitting around waiting for the painters to get here and I'm moving little odds and ends and there's not a lot to do until I can get in that trailer and head up to Oregon, I figure I'll keep myself busy with a wiggly ass table. I figure we'll just get started on this design build. So I'm gonna take a snapshot of my parents' place from satellite image using Google Maps. I'll be able to place all my walls and everything off of that, and then we can see what our equipment's gonna do, how it's gonna perform, how much it's gonna cost, and when it's gonna get there. Stick around and check this out. So as you can see right here on the screen, we have our Airbnb build from the tiny house here when I thought we were gonna be doing an Airbnb. Now that we're selling the place, I'm gonna take all this equipment up and I'm gonna take it up to my parents' house and plug it in there. How awesome is that? I don't have to cancel any subscriptions, ask for permission, nothing. I don't have to buy new equipment or something that's gonna be compatible there. It's not gonna do that thing on Hulu where it tells me I'm not at home, I'm in another state, so it's not gonna work. And then I got a VPN and it finds a way to get through that too. You gotta find that dollar, don't you, corporate? America. Okay, so all we got to do is we go up here to our current project tab, and then you can see you can do an add new project. And then that just archives the projects you've already had. And if you want to, you can go back to your design center button there, and then you can click on the projects button there, and you can see our Airbnb build right there. All right, so our new project for my daughter, it's going to be grandma's house. So let's just do grand grandma's house. Is that how you spell grandma? Oregon, USA. Okay, so uh, we're gonna be reusing our equipment, so I'm just going to choose all of the options for that. Okay, so we're gonna do our value. It's gonna be in the house. House is definitely smaller than 2,000 square feet, and we're gonna be having less than 100 clients hooked up to it. So my parents don't have any use right now for building security or a VoIP phone, but a VoIP phone might be interesting, especially for my mom, because she loves looking at the cameras and checking out her cats, making sure they're okay, seeing what kind of creature comes out of the woods, but they still have a landline. It's still banana yellow, or whatever that yellow is from the 70s, and it's got the longest twisty pig cord you have ever seen. I could take that thing outside and go down the street. It was the same phone that would disconnect me from Ultima Online when somebody would be calling because we were on dial up. So I would be sitting there in a dungeon running for my life. And then all of a sudden it would freeze because somebody had to give us a call. Man, if spam callers were uh, calling back then during the days of dial up, I definitely would have killed myself. Okay, so we're gonna go with our Wi-Fi management and our camera surveillance. I can't tell you how excited I am for my mom to get these cameras. She's always checking out her existing cameras right now. Wi-Fi signal doesn't get out there far enough, so it just gives you a trash signal and it gives you a really bad picture quality. And what I mean by signal is it just doesn't quite get enough broadband access to give you a smooth streamlined picture or even tell you when somebody's there in the first place. A lot of times a mailman will be walking up the stairs, they'll drop a package, and by the time it notifies my mom that somebody has been there, they are long gone. Plus our camera records 24 hours a day with an external hard drive, so if we need to, we can go back to the tapes. Okay, so now we're gonna add our floor plan. The floor plan name is gonna be different than the project name, so in this case, we're working on the main floor, we're gonna upload our JPEG. This is the picture that we got from Google Maps satellite image. We just took a screenshot and we're gonna hit create. And that's it, that's how quickly that uploads. Now we're gonna set our ceiling height, which your standard is eight feet. Make sure to save. Now we're gonna set our floor plan scale. All you have to do is hit set one time. You measure one wall. So a single left click and we are going to tell the software that that is a 10 foot wall. Save, and now our entire project is set to scale. So we're gonna start by building our walls. Click that little hammer tool. We're gonna go to outer, and we're just gonna go all the way around the house real quick. Just single left clicks, and it doesn't have to be super accurate because we're just trying to get a rough idea of our signal strength off of our APs, and we also wanna know what our cameras are seeing and how far they can see. Now we'll do our inner walls real quick. Knowing that this is a 10 by 10, I'm just gonna split this side of the house up fairly evenly like so. I do know that the master bedroom is a little bit longer than the others. We have a hallway that comes down like so, and then there is a bathroom right here, and then there is a single wall right here dividing the kitchen from the living room. Now that we've got that all up, now we can start doing the fun stuff. We'll start putting the equipment in there. Now we're gonna start with those cameras, and I have three G4 Pros that I cannot wait to show my mom how awesome these are gonna be, because the cameras she have right now are super garbage. 
So let's go to our performance tab. We'll get our G4 Pros and we're gonna put one back here into the woods. I wanna put one on this side of the house so you can see by the road and that side of the woods. And then I wanna put one by the kitchen door there. And if you'll notice in this area right here where the tree is and this little car is parked right there, that's where the tiny house build's gonna be. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. And my mom has always wanted a doorbell camera. So we're gonna set her up with a beautiful doorbell, G4 doorbell right up front. And so she can see who's coming and going because the camera she has right now, it's too delayed to even see anybody. You don't have to worry about that anymore, mom. And you know what else you're not gonna have to worry about? How crappy your Wi-Fi signal is. Now there's an AP in your room there, mom. Now, now you can't complain, then it's my fault. And we're gonna make sure to put one in the living room there. And then once we get our basement floor plan set up, we're gonna make sure to do a tunnel and put one of these downstairs, which is great. I mean, there's no signal down there. It's it's a basement. So it's completely covered in dirt and completely insulated from any kind of a Wi-Fi signal getting there. So we're just gonna drill a tunnel, put one down there. It's gonna be great. Can't wait for that. And I'm gonna put in here that there is an existing rack right here inside the computer room. There's no rack or server a room or anything in there. It's just going to be the UDM Pro and the switch. But what that does is once we hit auto cable, that is going to distribute all the cabling that we need. Another thing I want to do is I want to put a camera in the dead zone that we have back there in the corner of the house. So I've got a G4 bullet I'm going to stick there. This is really cool. Now we're going to come down here to these slides and this is going to tell us what kind of 2.4 gigahertz frequency ranges we have, 5 gigahertz, and then where our cameras are. And we can do those adjustments like this. So we can show the client what they will be able to see with their cameras and they can make any kind of adjustments they want. We can do that live. So if they say, hey, I want to take that camera from there and I want to put it more centralized, we can just update that here live and you can do that with any of your floor plans, even if they're archived. So that looks good. I'm going to turn that off. If we wanted to share this with anybody, we can go up to export as a PDF. Make sure to click which floor plan you want. And then what you can do is you can do all coverages. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll export it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna send it right up here to our downloads. And now we can open up our downloads and you'll see right here, each page shows them specifically what to expect for their 2.4, their five, and their camera coverages. And this is all free. It's so easy to do. And what's really cool and very handy about this is we're gonna hit our auto cable and you can see there it's showing where everything is gonna be connected, including the Wi-Fi signal from the doorbell to the nearest AP, which is right there in the living room. All right, well, that looks good. Pretty simple build. As you can see, once we get that tiny house built, we'll start on a new design center where we're gonna do a building to building bridge out to there. But now that we're done with this, let's click our list of materials. Everything looks good. Once you check out, that's it. It's gonna send all that equipment to the job site so that you can get started. And you can definitely do this yourself. It's all DIY, very easy to set up. And if you need any other help on some of the other details about this networking setup, I've got lots of fun videos on there, hopefully that are informative for you and help you out with your network. So if you guys are getting started to do a build, make sure to check out Ubiquity's Design Center so you can get everything laid out and know what you want before you spend any money or waste any of your time. So as you can see here is my little kitty room that I got set up. I got all the little cages, their own beds. I got some food. They got their cat scratcher here and a nice comfy space up here where they can lay in front of the window and uh, play with their toys. And hopefully they don't fight and kick each other's asses at the same time. So in the next couple weeks, I'm not really sure what to expect. This is all new to me. I've never had to pick up and move somewhere. I've lived for 20 years, but it's gonna be exciting. I can't wait to get up there. It's an all new environment. We're going from the desert all the way up to the green and the forest and the rain. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification thing in the corner. That really helps me out. I wanna keep making this content and I can't do it without you guys. We got lots of really great stuff coming up, including that tiny house build. As far as right now, I'm trying to get going. You can see how big of a mess this is. But once this gets all cleaned up, I can't wait to get out of here. It can't come soon enough. So make sure to come back and see me all because it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for checking out the channel and have a nice day. Now it's wobbly the other way. How's that? Are we going to figure it out? Okay, I think we figured it out.